Welcome to Electron Line. Here's our first example of how to calculate the maximum power transfer from a linear circuit to a low resistor. Here's the circuit. We have a 30 volt source, 10 ohm resistor, 40 ohm resistor, 25 ohm resistor, and our low resistor. So we're going to try to find the maximum power transferred and what will be the value of the low resistor in order to accomplish that. Remember the equation from the last video that the maximum power transferred is one quarter the Thevenin voltage squared divided by the Thevenin resistance. And of course, at the maximum power transfer, we know that the Thevenin resistance equals the low resistor. We could also write it like this. So what we need to do is we need to find the Thevenin equivalent resistance and the Thevenin equivalent voltage. To try to find the Thevenin equivalent resistance, we go ahead and set this voltage equal to zero, and we open the circuit here and find the equivalent resistance. So let's draw the circuit. And so we find our Thevenin like this. This becomes a 10 ohm resistor, a 40 ohm resistor, and a 25 ohm resistor relative from A to B. You can see that these are in parallel. These together are, let's say, yeah, these together are in parallel. This is in series with those two. So to find the equivalent resistance here, we take the product over the sum, 10 times 40 over 10 plus 40, which is 400 over 50, which is equal to 8. So the equivalent resistance here is 8, and then this resistance is 25. That means R Thevenin is equal to 8 plus 25, which is 33 ohms. To find the maximum power transferred on this particular circuit, we need to make the low resistor equal to 33 ohms. We can then say that R, R Thevenin, which is equal to R sub L, is equal to 33 ohms. The next thing we need to do is to find out what the maximum power transferred is. In order to do that, we need to find the Thevenin equivalent voltage. What we need to do is open the circuit and find the voltage between A and B with the circuit in place. So let's go ahead and grab that. Well, actually, yeah, I'll go ahead and redo the circuit here. So plus minus A and B, terminals A and B. We have a 30 volt source. We have a 10 ohm resistor. 25 ohm resistor and a 40 ohm resistor. To find the voltage across A and B, which is in essence will now be the Thevenin voltage, V Thevenin, what we can do here is look at this as a voltage divider. Let's assume that the voltage at B is equal to zero, so the voltage down here is equal to zero, and the voltage at this location is equal to 30 volts, then you can see that the voltage will drop between 30 volts and zero volts across the 10 ohm and the 40 ohm resistor. So the voltage over here at, let's call that V1, can be determined as follows. V1 is equal to the 30 volts times the voltage divider, that would be 40 volts remaining, or I should say 40 ohms remaining to go through, that would be 40 ohms divided by the total resistance of 10 plus 40. This is equal to 30 volts times, whoop, 30 volts times 40 divided by 50, 40 divided by 50, which is 0.8, which is equal to 24 volts. Let's see if that's correct. Uh, 0.8 times 3, yep, 24 volts. That's 80% of 30 volts will give us 24 volts. Hmm, just want to make sure I got my arithmetic correctly. All right, so this is equal to 24 volts. That's the Thevenin equivalent. Now we can go ahead and calculate the maximum power transfer. Pmax is equal to one quarter the Thevenin voltage, which is going to be 24 voltage squared, divided by the R sub L, which is the same as R Thevenin, which is 33 ohms. And that will be the maximum power transferred in this particular case. 24 squared divided by 4 divided by 33, and we get 4.36 watts. 4.36 watts is the maximum power transfer in that case. So that's how that's done. Let's go over it quickly again. We have a circuit, a linear circuit. We need to find the Thevenin resistance by setting the voltage source to zero, opening up the circuit between A and B, figuring out the equivalent resistance, that is the Thevenin resistance, which also becomes the load resistance for maximum power transfer. To calculate what that Pmax is, the maximum power transfer is, we need to find the equivalent Thevenin voltage. 
Notice that if this is a 30 volts, we want to know the voltage between A and B, which is the same as the voltage between V1 and 0. We then realize that there's a voltage divider here. We go through 10 ohms here to 40 ohms. This is one-fifth the, uh, the total resistance across this path. That means we drop one-fifth of 30 volts. One-fifth of 30 volts is 6 volts, which means we end up with 24 volts at this location. That's the voltage from A to B. Then we plug that into the equation, divided by the equivalent resistance or terminal resistance, and we get the maximum power transfer. And that's how it's done.